Howdy folks, this is B. Junior from B. Junior's Movie Cave on the Endurance Productions YouTube channel. I got a little sickness going on here guys. I had a, such a great time at the local swap meet, the old flea market there, and I had a few VHS finds in that one. I started watching a bunch of VHS updates and it got me in this weird nostalgic mood where I was just like, I had to have some VHS. But I just didn't want to buy any old VHS, I just wanted to buy them for a couple different reasons. So I went on a VHS binge. I hit all the local Goodwills, the thrift stores, just to see what was out there. Play the field, throw the hook out there, and see what I could find. That's right, dudes. I came back with a big old bag of crap. That's right. 50 cents a piece in most cases, maybe a dollar here and there. But I found a ton of old favorites that I more or less just wanted for a couple different reasons. One, if I found a rarity, I wanted to get it. Also, just for collectibles, you know, just for all-time collectible favorites. Um, cover art, you know, that's another good one uh, for display or just, uh, you know, any old time good old favorites that just I didn't want to scour the earth to find a DVD for or that are going out of print on DVD for some reason or they're just more expensive and it was just, you know, like those are the main reasons. Nostalgia is a big reason too and I just wanted to pick them up. This is going to be a very quick update. I'm not going to say much about the films. I just want to show off all my crap that I got for dirt cheap. Here we go. We have Magnum Entertainment, the original, one of the original releases of The Hills Have Eyes. There it is, the original artwork. Saw that one, 50 cents, had to grab it. Wes Craven, favorite of mine. Went old school, got some of the classics, guys, the classics. The Mummy. <laughs> How can you do better than these, guys? These are those little old hour and 15 minute favorites there. You got Boris Karloff, I mean, hey, you got to get these out around Halloween. I found a few of those in the same spot. Got the Bride of Frankenstein, another 50 cent favorite there. How can you go wrong with this one? Drackler! Had to get Drackler in there. There you go, the 1931 original. Here's a Western favorite that I've been wanting to view since. I haven't viewed this one since I was a kid. I had to grab this one while the getting was good. Another 50 center. The Magnificent Seven, that's right, old Baldy, Yul Brenner himself, and Steve McQueen. I mean, you know, it's just a Western favorite. This is the kind of Western that I pop in late at night when there's nothing else to watch. And, I don't know, had to grab it. This was a blind buy. This one was a dollar. It comes in the Warner Home Video big box we knew from the video store days. The big old clamshell deal. It is The Nesting. I think Blue Underground's releasing this on DVD and or Blu-ray uh, recently, but for... I think it was either 50 cents or a buck. I thought, shoot, man, I'll go ahead and get the VHS and I'll just watch it and see if I like it. Uh, since there's no mom and pop video stores around anymore, you about have to get them this way just to see if you like them or not. Anyway, watched the trailers on this uh, a couple weeks back when I saw Blue Underground was going to put it out. So I grabbed it when I saw it. I was like, oh, dude, I'll watch it. Uh, this one isn't a horror favorite, but it's just an all time Bob Clark favorite of mine. I have the Blu ray of this, but it was just, I don't know, it's got the traditional cover art on it. Uh, that I remember. I saw this one in the theaters growing up and I really have loved it ever since. A Christmas Story. There's the old man with his major award there and uh, Ralphie in the bunny suit. Yeah, hey, I mean, what can you say? Christmas Story. Gotta have it. Here's one that's going on display, guys. I've been wanting to work in a display with my Phantasm laser disc. I have for your viewing pleasure a very, very intact. Uh, well taken care of VHS of the original Phantasm with the original cover art there. Check it out there. There's Michael Baldwin cutting Angus Scrim's fingers off. Yeah. It's one of my favorite uh, atmospheric horror movies. I'm going to have to do another little shrine like the little shrine I got for Streets of Fire over there going. But uh, that'll be in a Man Cave update. I'll show that off one day. But anyway, 50 cents, man. Really great copy too. Doesn't look like it's been played that much. It's more from the Embassy Home Entertainment line. Amityville 2, The Possession. Always love those cover arts on those Amityville VHSs. 50 cents. Love it. Here's another great cover art, Scanners. This one had a small tear in it, but there again, it wasn't hurting my pocket. I love that. kind of ties in with the original one sheet. Always love those. Here's another good old school one from Media Entertainment. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Love that old school cover art there. Had to pick it up. Good old Canon film. Dennis Hopper going wild in that one. I don't know. I always, it's kind of bad in that good way. Uh, you know, not, nowhere near holds a candle to the original, but I've always liked part two for some odd reason. Lick my plate, you dog dick. 
Okay, got the uh, one. I think this is an original media entertainment release of Nightmare on Elm Street 2. It's got the little flap on the bottom. It's in really great shape. This was another uh, 50 cent pickup. Tape checks out. It's got the, uh, yeah, there you go. Original cover art for part two. I remember seeing this one in the video store a lot with just Freddy on the front. Kept, kept it simple there. Anyway, I've been told by many a VHS collector, if you're going to buy VHS anymore, get them dirt cheap and look for the flap when it comes to media. Well, I got the flap. I don't know what it means. It's more rare, whatever. I had to get the original as well with also the flap from Media Home Entertainment. This one was a little more beat up than part two, but not really bad. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a Not on Elm Street display one day here in my man cave. It's coming soon. I got a bunch of these films on VHS and, uh, uh, you know, DVD, of course, and all that. So it's coming one day. I'll do something for Not on Elm Street. I've obviously got the Friday 13th uh, rocking in the man cave. So I got to get some Nightmare on Elm Street in there someday. Here, oh, here's one that's in real great shape The Hitcher. This was another, I think this one might have been a dollar. But, uh, you know, this this VHS, I'm willing to, I'm going to make you a bet, guys. Tell me what you guys think. It's HBO Home Video VHS. I'm willing to bet you this VHS, although it's not widescreen or anything, looks 10 times better than that DVD that came out. I, I'm sorry, but that DVD that they put out of this in the snapper case in Region 1 sucks. But anyway, I love that cover art. Had to get it. Maybe I'll do some kind of retro VHS shelf one day and just have all my cover arts all lined up. Here's one that's uh, still kind of hard to find. It was recently released on the uh, double feature uh, DVD in the Roger Corman line back there. It is. A, it's, this one's in pristine order, just like the Phantasm tape I found. The Evil. That's right, Richard Crenna, Ghost Story. Um, I, it's funny how I searched forever just to find a VHS because I could never find it on DVD or anything. But now it's out on DVD, and then I find the VHS like shortly thereafter I get the the uh, other one in on my Roger Corman line. I think it comes with, uh, yeah, here you go. It's the evil. It comes in with Twice Dead in the Roger Corman line. Anyway. The Evil from Embassy Home Entertainment. Love that cover art there. The big letters, Evil, in the coffin. Or the uh, the vault opening up or whatever that is. Here's another classic, and I'll just round it out and close with this one. How can you go wrong? That cover art right there, the howling, scratching through there with the fingernails. Just remember that one all the time in the video store. As I said, I got nostalgic on this run. This whole haul probably costed like seven bucks total or something, guys. It was ludicrous. But all the tapes were intact, all the cover arts were great. Man, I've got them more from a collectible standpoint. Just old B Junior favorites, stuff like that. So, Anyway, I'm out of here, keeping it short today. This has been your retro VHS update. Do a video response, comment if you will, and I'll catch you next time. Rock on.